sonography of the spleen. The spleen is this synthetic shaped blood filled parenchymal organ located in the left upper quadrant of the peritoneal cavity. You can see this is diaphragm and we have got the left lobe of liver and then is the spleen. It is protected by ribs and surrounded by numerous air-filled structures, namely the lung, stomach, splenic flexure of the colon and numerous small bowel loops. So all these structures are covering it. Spleen is also smaller than the liver and does not fill out the quadrant as well as the liver. For these reasons, scans of the spleen are more difficult to obtain than those of the liver. As liver is filling all of the quadrant, spleen is not filling. So comparatively, it's difficult because once it is not filling, the areas will be filled by that air filled areas like stomach, the splenic flexure of the colon and small bowel loops, etc. Sonographically, it appears like this. It is homogeneously moderately echogenic organ that bears similarity with the sonographic appearance of the liver, except that it is smaller, slightly more echogenic than the liver. So it is a, a little bit hyperechoic as compared to the liver and more homogeneous. Splenic vessels are not as visible within the substance of the spleen as it is hyperechoic. And its echo texture is different from that of liver because the spleen does not have a second set of veins that is the, uh, equivalent to portal veins. That is another reason. We know that the portal vein walls are echogenic and are more prominent. Vessels in the hilum of the spleen are usually readily identifiable because the vessels are not many, they are just the splenic artery and vein, vein but become inapparent soon after they enter the spleen. The best approach for scanning the spleen is from the left flank of the coronal plane with the patient lying supine. Coronal scans are taken from high intercostal scans with the beam directed posteriorly where the spleen lies tucked under the hemidaphrine. If this approach is suboptimal, subcostal scans may be taken after the patient is placed in the right posterior oblique or right lateral decubitus position. This is used as a secondary approach because in this position, the spleen tends to fall away from the ribs and bowel gas or lung air insinuate themselves between the ribs and the spleen. Here you can see the coronal view of the left upper quadrant of abdomen in which we can see the main splenic vessels entering into the spleen, upper pole with diaphragm. This is the lower pole. So as with every organ, the spleen must be examined in two orthogonal planes, 